All right, guys, today we're gonna do wildlife photo editing again. So if you want to follow along, check the link in the description, the same photo that I'm gonna use in this tutorial. You can find it there, download it, and just follow along with the same steps I do, and then you can learn something new. And if you want to learn more about wildlife photo editing, check the link in the description. I have a wildlife photo editing course where I go really deep in all the details. So you can learn a lot more than these YouTube tutorials. Right, so let's start with this video and do some Photoshop editing. All right, so this is the photo we will be using. This is just the starting point of the photo. Now, first of all, if you wanna follow along with the same photo, it's in the description of the video. First of all, I wanna crop this photo because I want to make a portrait in vertical mode. So. Let's take the crop tool here and just crop it like that and get rid of that side, maybe a bit smaller like that. And make sure it's something like this. Now we have a portrait now. Let's make it even smaller, just like that. Then when you have this, press enter. Now we have a portrait now of this photo. And what I would like to do is I want to work on the lighting here first, so let's add a curves here and I'm gonna adjust the lighting. Now when we take the highlights here we can drop this down to make it dark. So let's make it dark first like that and then let's take a brush tool here and go to your general brushes and select the first one soft round brush. Make sure you have black selected as a foreground color and then we will make some areas lighter. So I'm gonna click a couple of times to define where my lighter areas will be. So I wanna have one side a bit darker and the right side lighter. So I will brush this side lighter again. I can make the brush a bit smaller here. And let's brush this back because that's where the lighting will come from. And this side will be darker. Let's also make the eye lighter again, just like that. This doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure you have some lighter and darker areas first and then we will adjust everything better. Maybe the lighting will also come here. Just a bit of this imagination where the lighting will be. Maybe also on this pile here. All right, now let's keep that dark. Let's move on to the next step and let me first wait, make this slightly darker like, like that. I'm gonna drop the flow here a bit so I have a bit better like transitions from lighter to darker area like that. All right, let's now add a hue and saturation. I wanna drop the color a bit, so I'm gonna move this slightly down to get rid of those like really colorful colors, right? So a bit darker, a bit less saturated, I mean. Now let's add a new layer and this layer, I'm gonna go to edit and fill this with 50% gray. And then if I change blood mode overlay, I can use the burn tool. And with the burn tool, we can make areas darker. The burn tool you can find here. And for the range, I'm gonna select highlights first. And I'm gonna move the exposure a bit up, like let's say something around the range of 30. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush some areas darker. You can see here, I can brush areas darker. So I'm gonna make sure these areas where the shadow is are a bit darker. So probably here, a bit on its face here, here at this ear. Let's do this whole face here a bit darker on that side. Just a little bit darker. And that way we have some really nice dark tones. You can also do like these areas where you can already see that it's dark. So for instance, here, let's do more there. And that's already enough. It's just a little bit darker. Then I will change the range from highlights to midtones, and I will take the exposure and move this down. So basically you are moving your way down from highlights to midtones and then later shadows. And also bring the exposure down every time you go one step down. And now I will make the brush a bit bigger and I will brush these areas again. And let's see, we have some darker areas there. Let's also do there. I'll probably also do the background a bit darker because I wanna have the background also a bit darker there. And just like that. Now let's go down to shadows and I will drop the exposure really low, somewhere around two or three, and I will brush again. Because if the exposure is too high, 
it's just gonna get ruined it's gonna get too black and we still want to have like a real photo and not so much photoshopped kind of photo so you can see here I made this areas darker let's also do the background here so we can make a darker background and let's make these areas slightly darker now I feel like this transition doesn't look good so I'm gonna go to my curves here I'm gonna take the black brush and I'm gonna brush that again with a brush and I'm gonna make it bigger something like this I think this is better all right now we have some dark areas and now I'm gonna go to the top layer and I'm get, gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna go to edit and select fill 50% gray again and change this to overlay and I'm gonna brush some areas lighter so we made them darker with the burn tool and with the dodge tool we can make areas lighter so for the for the exposure here let's go with midtones and let's increase the exposure so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the eyes lighter like that now you don't want to go too much with this because it's just gonna look like the eyes are glowing we don't want to have them glowing we just want to have them really good visible so if it's too much just drop their opacity here a bit like that all right the eyes are lighter the areas are darker let's make a new layer and I'm gonna go to edit fill again and fill this with 50% gray again and this one I'm gonna use for brushing his fur a bit lighter so let's drop the exposure here and I'm gonna brush his fur a bit lighter because we have lighting coming from that side so I want to make sure some areas are a bit lighter let's do also here maybe there let's also do a bit there and now you can see we get a better transition from light to dark now because we made this darker but still want to have a little bit of light coming there and now I can really control this transition from dark to black now, now let's compare you can see these lights are a bit lighter all right let's work on the lighting again so I'm gonna add a curse on top of this one and I'm gonna make take the midtones and bring them a bit down so we have a nice contrast you can see here we can create this nice contrast between light and dark you can also take the highlights and move them a bit there but be careful with this because we can really blow out these white tones so probably won't do this much just a little bit to that side and this one I can really control my contrast here with the midtones so you can see here I'm just bringing them down all right that's enough now let's work on the outer part so I'm gonna add a gradient to this and I'm gonna select radial here so we can have this circle but I'm gonna put it in the reverse and then I can move this around right so I make sure its face is slightly on that side lighter and then I will take this one and I will change these colors so when you click on them you can just sample a color and what you want to do is want to take something from the background and move it all the way down so it's like really a darker darker spot of that one and then when you click on this one and click somewhere there it's gonna copy this one and I take the original one move it down to remove it and let's bring it to the side like that and here with the scale I can also control this so I want to have like just a little bit of this effect then I click OK and here I can drop the opacity so I want to make sure we change the blend mode here to soft light or overlay whatever works best for your photo I think soft light here looks nice you can see here I can control this now when we look at before we had this this we get slightly dark areas on the outer parts now the next step is to add a little bit of a light effect so we have lighting coming from that side so we could also add a light effect there let's create a new layer and then sample a color from this and then move it a bit to that side so it's like the lighter version of the background and let's make a dot oh I'm gonna take the brush just a normal soft round brush and keep the opacity flow at 100 and make a dot and make sure you have the hardness here at zero so you have the really soft brush and make a dot like that then when you take the move tool you can move this around and with ctrl or command t we can resize it so I'm gonna make this bigger and put it somewhere there so this is like our lighting maybe even bigger and when you hold down ctrl or 
command of make you can stretch one corner so we have more like a light beam and this will make it look more kind of realistic and when you change the blend mode here to either screen or overlay whatever you think works best on your photo so for lighting we can use screen and if we want to change the color of this lighting if you think the color doesn't look right you can press ctrl u to bring up the hue and saturation and here you can change this color so if you make sure to select color lights and when you bring the lightness down you can change this color right so let's for find a nice color for this maybe less colorful if you increase this one it's gonna get like really white but if you drop the lightness below zero in minus you can change the color so let's do something a bit orangey maybe something like this let's make it a bit lighter maybe it was all right before but I'm gonna see if this looks good I think this looks fine so we have a light effect now let's create a new layer and if you want to get these warm tones in your image you can also do the same with as we did before just make it more orangey and make it bigger like that and change blend mode to overlay and then you can add these warm tones but make sure to drop the opacity here because it's gonna ruin your image if it's at 100 percent unless you like this kind of style but i think this looks fake so let's drop the opacity really low just to add a little bit of these warm tones in this image like that maybe i will move this a bit out of the frame all right so that's already a long way from the start this also looks actually pretty cool so i don't even know if we need this light effect maybe if i make it like super whitish maybe this looks better whatever you think works best just try it out and you will find a nice spot so let's now go to the top and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a new layer and press ctrl alt shift e on mac that's command option shift e to duplicate this layer and then i will convert this to a smart object and then i will go to filter camera raw filter to do some final adjustments and here we can play with the settings so maybe if you want to change something maybe more contrast or less contrast you can do that all here once your design is finished so let me try this out let's increase the highlights here let's make the shadow slightly darker I can increase the whites here and let's bring down the blacks a bit I'm not gonna touch temperature because usually it just ruins the image for me and when I bring the texture here down we can make this image more soft but we don't want to lose the details so we increase the clarity like that now if you want to have a vignette you can also edit here but I don't like to use that now let's go down here we can play with the lighting again let's increase the highlights here again and I don't want to have it too light because then you lose the details so we want to find a nice range for this so I'm going to increase the darks here again and let's see let's let's decrease the shadows a bit here we can also change the color if you want to have a different kind of color effect you can also do it here but what I like to do is I like to move my way all the way down to calibration and I feel like these colors when you change the calibration look better than changing them there right so play with these settings to see if you can get better colors here I think this image already looks okay so I'm not gonna change anything here I'm gonna press ok all right the next thing I could add to this is a curves and I'm gonna take the highlights move them slightly to the left and take the shadows and move them slightly to the right and now I will switch to red and I will take the darker tones and move them a bit to the right so I can balance the colors better same goes for the green slightly to the right so just basically I'm taking the darker points and move them a bit to the right and this one probably don't need now let's add a color lookup on top of this and select tree strip and you can see here we get this cool effect now let's drop the opacity here a bit now once you're done with the whole design you might think this looks way too photoshopped now the best thing to solve that problem is to just put all these edits that you just created into one folder and drop the opacity like 70 percent or even lower this depends on how much you want to have it edited right so if this is too much for you bring this down to 70 or something and this looks more real so that's pretty much it 
Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about wildlife photo editing, check the link in the description. You can check out my wildlife photo editing course. Or maybe you want to see another tutorial. I have one of these tutorials here. Check them out there also for wildlife photo editing. Until then, catch you in the next one.